as you get into higher and higher levels of automation, having an extremely robust perception stack is what leads to differentiation. As you move up in autonomy, as the system takes on a greater role, the availability and the robustness of the system has to be even broader. It has to work all of the time. Customers are looking for systems that are optimized along a lot of dimensions. By dimensions, I talk about power, compute optimization, availability, affordability, and reliability. By availability, what we mean is you need the ADAS system to work when you need it the most. So vision sensing is important. They're vulnerable in certain conditions like extreme light conditions or poor weather conditions. This is where radar has a lot of strength. Radar is natively much more robust against environmental conditions than other sensing modalities, right? We penetrate fog, mist, rain, and also it works independently on the lighting conditions of the environment around us. The camera's gonna help us in lanes, object for lanes for um, lights, and also street sign recognition. Our radar gives the most availability, the best power efficiency, also best cost efficiency. So we can reduce the requirements on the vision part to make it more affordable and optimize performance and cost on the camera, and then leveraging the strength of the radar to pick up the rest of the detail. Approach of Aptiv is to use AI where necessary to bring drastic improvement, uh, for example, in perception, but keeping a design to cost approach for uh, um, compute and uh, energy footprint, uh, which is clearly a differentiator. I think the challenge for the next years is definitely to bring ADAS to, to very wide range of scenarios, including urban scenarios that are very rare. That's something that we are working on to, to really have us much more benefits for the end user. I think for us, it's really the challenge that we want to make a system that works everywhere, anytime.